Hello dear friends and colleagues. We are very happy to introduce to you Video Glow 4K. This 10 minute video is about Slitlam version of Video Glow camera. With Video Glow installed on YAG laser, both of which by default are having top class optics, this can become our ultimate photo and video slit lamp. With which we can record and live stream for demo to medical students, residents and patients relatives. Here are few interesting cases for you. First is a case of YAG laser sphincterotomy which is done as an optical iridotomy. This was a case of a bent keratopathy. The patient was one-eyed old person who was pseudophagic who complained of very bad and poor vision in bright light but good vision in dim light and better vision in night. So we wanted to avoid any invasive procedure so we planned to do a YAG laser sphincterotomy as a small size optical iridotomy. His vision was counting finger close to face in bright light. Vision was 6 by 36 in mid dilated pupil. The pupil for this testing was dilated with plain tropicamide 1% without phenylephrine and with minus 2 sphere vision improved to 6 by 8 in part. This patient was one eyed and quite uncooperative and yet we could do this procedure well in 12 shots of 9 millijoule each single burst without using any laser lens this was a pseudophagic eye please note that we should not attempt laser sphincterotomy in phagic eyes to safeguard the anterior capsule in such phagic eyes we can do this in OT with micro scissors or first convert the eye into a pseudophagic and then do this procedure. Patient was very happy so we were also very happy. Post-op regime was moxidexa, dorsitimo and lubricant three types of drops, only topical eye drops, no systemic medications, these drops twice a day for 20 days. Such laser microsphincterotomies can be done in post-op period anytime. In cases of autofocus pro or any other IOLs, if or when pupils are found to be too small to improve near vision and to reduce photic phenomena. Please notice that even after such sphincterotomies, pupil reaction to light remains normal as before. We can do this laser procedure without dilating the pupil in this type of clear corneas. We don't even need any anesthetic eye drops. But I personally prefer to put paracaine eye drops two or three times before doing the procedure. One or more tiny laser sphincterotomies can be performed in an unhappy patient of multifocal IOLs who have vague complaints due to mismatched positioning between pupil center and the IOL center. Next is a case of milky PCO which mimics like IOLs opacification. Somehow this type of PCO is more common in three-piece hydrophobic in the bag IOLs. This is YAG laser clearing of milky PCO recorded on video glow camera attached to slit lamp. This camera has a nice Dolby mic so it can record sounds and commentary and the commentary can be recorded if the surgeon wants. The mic can be turned off if the surgeon does not want to record voices. This is a case of capsular phimosis with zonulopathy with downward subluxation of the IOL back complex. Phimosis was covering almost 80% of undilated pupil, so we cleared the anterior capsular rim with the YAG laser. We can beautifully see the deceased, elongated, loosened and stretched zonules.
in order to crucify and prevent further fibrosis and phimosis we also cleared the lower margin the six o'clock margin of the capsular fibrosis rim Yeah, capsulotomy of a fibrinous PCO in a silicon oil filled eye. As we can notice, large air bubbles are formed due to heating of the silicon oil. This is a case of medically controlled malignant glaucoma due to pupillary blockage by ACIOL. IOP became normal in few hours after doing a tiny young iridotomy and later on it remained normal without medications. Recording young iridotomy with video glow camera mounted on slit lamp. We can see the fluid aqueous gush once the iris is perforated. This is YAG PI for intermittent narrow angle glaucoma, a single shot of single burst of 10 millijoule, no any iris lens is used and the YAG PI is done. Let us see repeat in slow motion, just a single shot is enough and the PI is done. We can see a mild blood stream and the iris dust falling out and down into the thick aqueous humor. Please notice the chamber depth has increased. This is a one-eyed myopic patient with dense PCO and as you can see a thick rope-like vitreous floater which was dangling in the anterior vitreous. After thorough retinal examination to rule out any peripheral break or lesions which may lead to RD in future, the PCO was cleared with few shots of 5 millijoule. And then we focus the laser on the mid of that vitreous rope and fired a 10 millijoule shot and then the rope was cut into four pieces. The vitreous rope was probably the remnant of hyaluronic artery. We can see the debris of which floating and then falling down into the abyss of almost liquefied vitreous. Thanks to Lambda by 10 polished space probing level, ISRO or NASA quality optics of Omniglow and Videoglow, we can see and record the capillary blood flow, the red blood cells clumps and plasma flowing like a line of red ends in the corneal penis microvessels. Please scan this QR code to know more about Videoglow. And if you wish to have Omniglow and or Videoglow for your microscope or slit lamp, please contact us on this number. Thank you very much for your kind attention.